here's meteorologist Jacob Matthews. Good Saturday evening. We are now looking at a live shot of Edinburgh, the Edinburgh Hotel, on our Sam Catania painting weather camera. And the snow has definitely fallen in the area. As you can see, it has accumulated on the streets and even on the patches of grass. Looks like a trace right now, which is a measurable amount below a hundredth of an inch because all the snow has been blowing around. But it is likely to accumulate a little bit more for tonight and into tomorrow. Now let's go up north a bit to Peach Street on our tower weather camera. We can see uh, traffic is now fair in inbound and outbound, but still seeing snow out in that area as well. Snow showers continue, mainly lake effect, Chautauqua County as well as Ashtabula County, even down into Cleveland, but we can also see much of the snow extending out of northwestern Pennsylvania and into central parts, including State College as well as Altoona, and we're still seeing bands of lake effect snow showers flowing along with that cooler air from the center of a low pressure system, still affecting the Great Lakes region. High wind warning until later tonight at 1 a.m. for Erie County and a little later for Chautauqua County. Still expecting wind gusts 50 to 60 miles per hour for uh, tonight, mainly this evening and early tonight. But afterwards, the wind gusts are expecting to slow down a bit, but it's going to be more gradual. It's not really going to be uh, right away, but soon we'll have slower wind speeds starting into next week. High was actually 44, but this was really early in the day. We're talking about just after midnight. The temperature has dropped dramatically throughout the rest of the day, and we've only reached the low 30s close to the lake shore in the middle of the afternoon. And for liquid precipitation, we've reached two tenths of an inch, bringing the total up to 1.47 for the month and the year. Now, let's take a look at temperatures. Slightly warmer near the lake shore, but uh, that's not saying much. Only 26 from Dr. Tom and Niagara Pier and from Joe out in Northeast, 23 from Lori in Edinburgh, and 24 from Liz in Corey. Now, if we go out to Warren County, we're seeing 25 from Warren as well as Youngsville, 24 out in Chandler's Valley. Janet from Cambridge Springs gave us 24, Mike and Kathy in Sagertown at 26, Franklin sitting at 23. And the wind gusts right now seem to be close to 40 miles per hour in areas including Erie, Meadville, as well as Jamestown. But Warren, with all the mountains uh, blocking much of the wind speeds, it's not really much out there. But still, these wind chills could, or these wind gusts could give uh, pretty low wind chills for tonight. And an uh, update on the power outages. We're now at 1,000 for Erie County, so we've seen some improvement. Only 200 for Crawford County and 100 out in Chautauqua County. And here's a look at uh, what we are expecting in terms of snowfall amounts within the next 24 hours. One to three inches over in Erie County and most of Chautauqua, but if we go closer to the lake shore, it may actually extend a bit more down to Chautauqua County. We're talking four to six inches, if not a little more. And for the rest of the region, uh, we could see one to three inches worn in Meadville, but just further south along I-79, maybe up to a coating to one inch. And we're still seeing that low pressure system trying to make its way out of the country right now and out of the Great Lakes region. High pressure is trying to make its way into our area, but we're still dealing with snow showers for tonight and tomorrow. It's mainly going to be in the form of lake effect with uh, the lake shore still being slightly warmer compared to the inland region, but it's still looking very cold. And with that, we could see that band uh, trying to make its way into Chautauqua County, as well as uh, other areas south of the lake shore in Erie County. But we're then gonna see another southwesterly breeze, breeze pushing aside that lake effect uh, snow band for tomorrow night. And that will introduce us to maybe a few flakes for Monday morning, but after that, looking like partly sunny skies, but still very chilly. Expect temperatures to only reach the low 20s, and we may see more snow building up for Tuesday. As for tonight, temperatures expected to drop down to 17 to 21 degrees near the lake shore. Chance of snow showers and still windy. Not as windy in uh, Meadville, but still looking uh, at high looking at high wind speeds right now. 25 to 35 from the southwest, 13 to 16 degrees out there. And looking at the mountains region, 14 to 18 degrees for tonight. Still seeing lake effect snow showers into tonight as well as tomorrow. And it's mainly gonna be close to the lake shore. Temperatures reaching maybe low 20s near the lake shore as well. Martin Luther King Day, well, early flakes followed by partly sunny skies. And looking like on and off lake effect snow showers for much of the week as well. Late flakes for Wednesday, more likely on Thursday. Higher chance for Friday. Overall, still seeing temperatures only reaching the teens and low 20s. So 
bundle up and get those thick leather gloves.